In this video, we're going to be doing over edge stitching, satin stitching, and tying fretch knots. And we're going to be making these really cute little mice, which you can make in any size that you like and any shape that you like, really. They're so easy to make. They're made from felt again because this is a fabric that doesn't fray and it's easy for young children to work on. There is some cutting out to do, so maybe as an adult you'd prefer to do the cutting if your children aren't old enough to use scissors as yet. But they're fun to make, they're quick to make, which is going to keep their interest as well. And just making them in bright colours and making lots of them, I'm sure your children are going to enjoy playing with them as well. So we'll take a look at the materials that we need for just one of the mice and then enjoy making them with your children. An over edge stitch does just that, it goes over the edge of your fabric. And this is a really useful stitch if you're making something where you're joining two pieces of fabric together. So that could be the little felt mouse that I'm going to show you how to make in just a minute, but it could also be using fabric like cotton if you're going to make some doll's clothes, or maybe you're going to make a headband or a scrunchie or something for yourself. So if you don't have a sewing machine, this is a good stitch to make a seam with and it's ever so easy. So take your needle and thread, and I'm just using embroidery thread, but this could be a cotton thread if you're going to use cotton. Remember how we tied a knot in the end of the thread from a previous lesson? And then I'm going to fold this so that I've got two pieces of fabric on the end. And then to make the stitch, you're going to go into the back and out through the front pull your needle through, go over the top and then into the back and out through the front just a little way away from the first stitch. So back to front and back to front. You can move these stitches so they look more even. They will be a bit diagonal so they go at an angle like that that's sewing two pieces of felt together. If I want to make that seam really strong, I'll need to make the stitches closer together. Because the closer together you make the stitches, the stronger the stitch is going to be. So if I'm making something like the mouse, where I'm going to put some stuffing inside it, and I want the seams to be really strong, then I'm going to use really small stitches. So try and make them even. It doesn't matter if they're not perfectly even. I think sometimes it looks quite nice when they're not. But just keep sewing over and over until you've sewn the whole of the seam. Really easy. The next stitch that I'm going to show you is a satin stitch. And a satin stitch you'll use on things like your mouse's nose. You'll use that stitch if you're drawing eyes, if you're making eyes, if you're making noses, if you want to fill in the whole area. It could be a flower and you want to fill in the petals and the leaves. So it's a good stitch for colouring in with your thread. So let me draw a little circle on here. And that could be a petal, it could be an eye, it could be a nose. I've got three strands of thread here. So I'm going to tie a knot in the end and right at the top of my circle I'm going to come from the back of my fabric and I'm going to make a little stitch. So just go into the side and then come out just underneath that stitch. So it's a little bit like an over edge stitch but I'm not pulling the fabric tight. I'm going over and under and just coming out at the side and my stitch is getting longer and longer because I'm following the line that I've just drawn. So that's getting wider and wider. And this could be any shape, it doesn't have to be a circle. It could be a triangle for a nose, it could be a leaf shape, it could be a petal shape. But just go over and under until the whole of the area is filled in. Now if you don't fill all of that area in and you get a little gap, you can go back over again. So if I do this one a little bit too far down, 
and then do my next stitch you can see I've got a gap here so when I've finished I'll go back over go in and out and in and out and one more until the gaps finished then I can carry on sewing so the more you go over and over and over the thicker and thicker the stitch is going to get so if you're making something like a nose and you want it to stand out a little bit you can just keep going over and over and over until you get a nice big nose so you're going to use this stitch a lot this is the stitch that we've used in the noses of our little mice we're also going to use a French knot for the eyes you've seen a French knot in one of the previous videos and we're going to use some cotton thread to sew the ears on as well so let me show you how to make our mice the first thing we're going to do is to make our mouse template so I found something which is about three inches across and I'm going to draw all the way around the circle this could be a circle in any size that you like and then from my circle I'm going to draw a line like this and a line like that until they meet and that's the shape of my mouse that's as easy as it is so let's cut the pattern out I'm just going to make the nose a little bit round and cut down the other side so now let's take my two pieces of felt put my template over the top and I'm going to draw around the edge of the template onto the felt and then I'll cut this out through both, both pieces of felt now you can make these not just any size you like but any colour that you like as well and some felt you can buy has got spots on it and stripes on it so you can make some very funny looking mice as well now with this piece I'm going to turn it over so that if I see any ink from my drawing it's on the inside and then I'm going to stitch my over edge stitch all around the edge so I've got my embroidery thread and remember embroidery thread has six strands so I'm going to split this down the middle so that I've got two lots of three strands so if I split six in half how many strands do I have? just got a bit of a knot there I'm going to cut that off so I'll save those three for later So I'll thread my needle. Can you remember what the hole is called in the end of the needle? And tie a knot in the opposite end. And then I'm going to start sewing with my needle just inside the two pieces of fabric so I don't see the knot. So just come up on the one side, took the knot inside and go around the top of the fabric try and keep your stitches quite even but it doesn't matter if they're not perfect and just keep sewing all the way around but not right back to the beginning because we need to leave a little gap here so that we can put some toy filler inside stop sewing in the middle of the mouse's bottom because this is where we're going to put the tail so take your piece of string 
and we're going to tie a knot in each end. Like so. So put one in end inside the two layers of felt like that and close it. And then we're going to sew close to the string on this side and then move it out of the way and sew on the other side. And if you can, sew right through the string and that'll hold the tail in place. And then we'll carry on sewing all the way around. Now remember I said we were going to leave a gap so we can put some toy filler inside. I'm not going to take my needle off my thread, I'm just going to put that to one side and then take some little pieces of the toy filler and push it into the gap in the side. And just use little bits at a time because it's easier that way. Then you don't get one big lump of toy filler. It'll be a lot more even when you put it inside. So just keep pushing it in until you've got a nice fat little mouse. It actually takes quite a lot for a very little mouse. So just make sure my needle's out of the way. Push some toy filler into his nose. I think he needs a little bit more in here. And then when I think he's fat enough, I'm going to hold together the two edges of the felt and carry on stitching. So I need to hold that flat now because the, the toy filler makes it want to burst. So just keep sewing over and over. Until we get right back to the beginning. And I'm going to make a little knot, now I've finished, on the bottom side, just here. So just like we have before, put your needle in but don't pull it through. Wind your thread around it two times, pull the thread through, and then we can snip this off. So that's what my mouse is looking like at the moment. Let's give him some ears. Now I want you to cut a circle which is about an inch or two and a half centimetres round. If you can find something small to draw around then that would be good or if you're good at cutting circles you can just cut out a circle like this. And then I'm going to cut my circle in half. So a half a circle is a semicircle. Then I'm going to fold each one of these semicircles in half and I'm, I'm using cotton now so this isn't embroidery thread and I'm just going to do an over edge stitch all the way down the join. Like so. I've got a thread sticking out here so I'm going to chop that off. And then this is going to be sewn to the top of the head. Now I want to make sure my ears are sitting in the right place on top of my mouse's head. So I'm just going to draw a little line where I want the ears to be. And remember we had that circle shape. The line is just on the edge of the circle. So if you imagine there's the circle and there's the nose. So that's the circle, that's the nose. The lines need to be about there. And that's where I'm going to sew the ears. So I've still got my ear on the thread and then put it on one side over the top of the line and you're going to do an over edge stitch sewing the ear into the mouse.
So when I get to the end here, I'm going to knot my thread again. So in and out and round two times and through. And cut it off. So we do the same with this ear. So I'll need to tie a knot in my thread again. Fold it in half. Over edge stitch it. And just a couple of stitches on top of each other to make that an not a knot, but to stop it coming undone. And then lay this, make sure it's facing the same way. Lay this over the second line and do that over edge stitch into the mouse and into the ear to hold it in place. So up to the end, tie my knot, so round the needle two times and pull it through. And those are my little ears. Now you can make those even more secure because we don't want the ears to come off by just putting, if I flatten those out, a little bit of glue just over the top of the stitches. So flatten it that way and a little bit of glue just there over the stitches. Only a tiny little bit but that will stop the stitches coming undone so that will help my ears stay on my mouse. So now my mouse needs some eyes. So I'm going to draw two little dots where I want the eyes to be. And do you remember our French knot? I've got all six strands of thread here, so I haven't split my thread and I haven't tied a knot in the end either. So this is how I'm going to hide the end of my thread. I'm going to go into the bottom of the mouse and pull the needle up in the eye. And then just pull the needle so that you've still got some thread at the end there. And then I'm going to do my French knot. So I'm going to go in and out over my dot, then wrap the thread round. I'm going to do five times. One, two, three, four, five. Hold onto that knot and pull the thread through. So that's quite a big knot, which is just what I wanted. Then go back in just at the side of there and come back out again underneath the second dot and pull that through. And then we'll do another French knot here. So in and out and then count one, two, three, four, five. Push the needle through. Then I'm going to go back in at the side again and take my needle all the way through the mouse and pull it out. So I've got two pieces of eye thread or the black thread sticking at the bottom of my mouse. So I'm just going to pull those a little bit and cut, pull a little bit and cut until the ends of my thread have disappeared inside. And because these are knots, then they're not going to come undone. Now we need a nose. So this is going to be a satin stitch. So I'm going to put my needle into the end of the nose and come back out just at one side. So my knot, I'm going to cut the long end off that to make it neat, but my knot is going to be hidden underneath my stitches. And then we're going to go across to one side and I'm using three strands of thread with this one and come out and then go back and go just underneath that line and go across and back and across. So it's a little bit like a big over edge stitch. Across and back 
and keep the stitches quite close together. Then I'm going to go over the top of the knot, so I'm hiding the knot. And then if you think you need to do some more, or if you have any gaps, or if you want that nose to be a little bit bigger, you can just go back over again. Don't pull this, these stitches too tight because you'll make a lump in his nose if you do that. And then I'm going to make that little knot again right in the middle of all of those threads. So let's one, two, tie a knot at the side. I can cut my thread off there. And then the end of the knot, I'm going to push it inside the stitches so you can't see it. And that's my second little mouse finished. So what colour are you going to make your mice? Where are you going to put your mice? And are you going to give them names? I hope you like making yours.